Today's tech tip is all about what to do with Google Drive and your shared with me files and what to do when people share files with you. So this is the challenge. Where is that file? I've been to many meetings where I get to a place where I need to get to a file. Somebody says I've shared it with you and I don't know where to find it. So that's the challenge. Usually we find it in our shared with me folder or maybe they've shared it with you via an email and you can search your email for it. But there's some easier ways to solve this problem. So the solution, the choices for this problem is number one, you can ignore the shared with me file completely, totally up to you. Two, you can search for it. Three, you can organize. Or four, you might want to make a copy of it. So ignore is the first option. This shared with me file is simply a stream of consciousness of all the files that have been shared with you. If you go in there and you delete files from that shared with me stream, it will unshare the file with you. So pretty much in my shared with me folder, I just leave that file alone and I can choose to ignore things that have been shared with me and not worry about them. The second thing you can do is search for it in your drive. So you can search your drive up here at the top by the title of the file. You can even search by the type of the file or even the owner of the file, which is usually what I end up doing to find something somebody shared with me. The third thing that you can do is organize by adding it to your own drive. Now that will just add a path to that folder in your drive and then you'll be able to find it, folder or file. So I'm in an email. I found a file somebody had shared with me. If I click on that file, it opens up a new tab and takes me to that file. Now I don't own this file. I could always find it because it's been shared with me. But if I want to put it and organize it so I can find it later, I can add it to my drive. See the little plus and drive there? If I click on that, it's going to say add to my drive. Then it gives me the option to organize it. And I can say where I want that file to live so I can go find it later. So I have a sample folder here that I'm going to open. And I say, move it here. Now, if I know I want to go back and find this uh, fast track PD document, I can go into my drive. I go to my sample folder and it's right there. And it is shared because somebody has shared it with me, but it's there and I can find it. Then if that person that owns it goes back and makes changes to it, I can still get to it through this path and I will see those changes that were made. Now, another way to organize the files is I'm in my shared with me folder and I found a document that's just a practice document I was working with a teacher on. I can right click that document and see it says add to my drive. So then I can click on it and I can organize it. I'm going to move it to that same sample folder and I click move here. Now notice, even though I added it to that folder, it still shows up in my shared with me file because I'm not the owner. Somebody shared it with me. Now, another option, something that you can do to organize, there's a pro tip here. I don't know about you, but I like to put files in more than one place. Maybe it's going to be in my September folder and maybe I also want it to be in my unit one folder. So to do that, if you hold down shift and Z, you can add it to a folder instead of moving it. So here I am with that practice document that we had, and I have it in my sample folder, but I also want to put it in another folder. So if I hold down my, I select it, hold down shift Z, put my screen smaller so you can see it. I'm going to choose my drive and this is add instead of move. So I'm going to click add here. I'm going to put it in my EdTech TOSA folder added it and notice it stays in this file and there's also a path to it in the other file. Really great tool when you want things in more than one place. So the final thing that you could do with files that have been shared with you, if it doesn't need to be a live document or maybe it's somebody else's document that they've shared with you and you want to make changes to it, but you don't want to mess up their document, you can make a copy of it and then organize it. 
That way that shared with you file remains theirs. They can make changes on it. And now you can make a copy of it and use it for your own purposes. So remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, contact us, sign up for one-to-one -one coaching at our bit.ly slash camas edtech, and we'd be happy to help you. Have a great week.